Chair, we understand the view of the committee and the committee chair, but uh, unfortunately this being a matter of national interest, only the President can make that decision. I think we go to him to be the one who takes the final decision. We understand and we will convey it to the you are also continuing to say no, because here we are a portfolio committee of parliament and all executives in this country, even the president, is accountable to this parliament. So what you are saying here is extremely out of order. And we stand um, by our decision and we are not going to allow you to disrupt this meeting okay. and want to dictate on what we must say no, and not say. It, it was a message. First of all, the chair, Honorable Gomba, the minister is at the board and she's speaking while the chair is chair. Can, can she get uh, uh, really to the, you know, can she be honest? I'm worried about the way she's contacting herself. She must wait for the chair to chair and then call the director. Thank you. Um, honorable uh, members, um, I think we have a responsibility to teach the minister the protocols of this country. Because amongst the reasons why we summoned her to the portfolio committee, it is because of this notion of thinking that executives are not accountable to parliament. And I am happy that at some point, the leader of government business, the Deputy President um, David Mabuza, in Parliament, one of the questions when they were asked uh, the lines of accountability, he was very explicit to say, as the executive, we are accountable to the Parliament of the Republic of South Africa. Hence, there is something called separation of powers and three arms of the state. So when we have...